Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we will learn the following. Add a prompt to the analysis, conditional formatting, and few more styling options to make the analysis look pretty. Let's get started. In the last video, we created a simple analysis in BI Analysis Editor. We saw some of the styling options, how to add filters, how to create table prompts, etc. In this video, let's take it a step further. Navigate to the folder where you have Save the Analysis. Click on Edit, and by default, you will see the Results tab. Navigate to the Criteria tab. And the first thing we want to do is to change the column heading style. The font is too big and it looks kind of boring. All right, click on Settings for the balancing segment column and then column format. Click on the style options and then change the font family, the size, style, and color. Make sure to perform or click on copy style so that we can use it for the other column headers. Go ahead and perform the same changes for the cost center, period, period net activity, and the account description columns. Since we are not displaying the account code and currency in the analysis, we're gonna ignore those columns. All right, let's preview the results and make sure to save the changes. This looks much better, better than earlier, right? The header for the balancing segment and cost center is wrapped to the next line. Let's change that. Back in the criteria tab, go to the column properties and column format for the balancing segment field. In the style options, uncheck the wrap text option. Make sure to perform the same change for the cost center column. Now, if you check the results, it looks much, much better. So we changed the column header style. Now let's style the data being displayed in each column. For the amount column, I want to make it bold and also format the numeric data display options. Back in the criteria tab, click on column properties for the balancing segment column. In the style tab, which is the first tab, click the paste style option because we have already copied the styling options from the column header formatting options. We will just change the font color and the style and make sure to uncheck the wrap text option. Let's copy the cell format. Go ahead and apply the style for cost center, accounting period, and amount columns. For the amount column, I'll change the horizontal alignment to right and vertical alignment to center and change the style to bold. Let's check out the results. It's awesome. It's getting better. Okay. We haven't reached the final stages, but it's getting better. The amount column looks fantastic. Now let's change the alignment for the other columns as well. Change the horizontal alignment to center for the remaining columns. 
uh, you can ignore the account description, account code, and the currency columns. Now we'll change the data format options for the amount column. Click on column properties and data format tab. Select override default data format. Set treat numbers as number. Change negative format to parenthesis red. Set decimal places to two. And finally, check the use thousand separator option. Save the changes. Let's go to the results tab to check out the results. Sweet, this is looking awesome. The user is able to easily identify the negative amounts. The next option is to add conditional formatting for the amount column. Back in the criteria tab, click on column properties and then conditional format. Click add condition and select the period net activity column. Set condition as is less than zero. And in the styling option, let's set the background color to black. Click OK. You can choose another color. You have the option to change the condition and styling options later. Back in the results tab, let's see how it looks. Great, the conditional formatting is working as expected. One key thing is make sure to save the analysis after you make any changes. And I don't want you to lose your hard work. Next thing we want to do is to create an analysis prompt. So click on the prompts tab and click the new button, which is the bright green plus icon. Select the column prompt and select account description. Because we're gonna select the account description and based on that, it's gonna display the results. You can provide a custom label. I'm gonna change the label to account and provide a description as well. Leave the operator as is. And for user input, we will use choice list. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can learn more about the other options or I might even show those in a future video. Now expand the options section. Uncheck the option that says enable user to select multiple values because we only want the user to select one value from the list. The last thing we want to do is to mark this field as required. Once that is done, we are set. Click OK. Save the analysis and then let's check out how it looks when we run the analysis. And back in the catalog, open the analysis. You will notice that it prompts the user to select the account. Scroll down and select an account and click OK. There you have it. You learned how to create a prompt for the analysis. At this point, the table prompt that we have is redundant. So we'll go ahead and remove that. Click on edit. And once in the results tab, click on edit view. Move the account description from table prompt section to excluded columns section. Click done, save, and let's check out the analysis once more. You can search for the value for the prompt. So let's try that option. Click search and then search for the account. 
When you see the search results, make sure to highlight the value that you want to select and then click OK. I've seen many users make this mistake. All right, you can see that we have removed the table prompt and the analysis looks much cleaner. Great, I think that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see how to add a graph using Bay Analysis Editor. We will look at few more prompt types as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section. If you love the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care.